Hello guys, Reslante here. Today I'm going to walk you through my high power in earth range DPS loadout for high tier rates. Um, well, as you can see, um, I kind of recommend this build if like you want to go earth tank, uh, but you don't want to be completely useless for the DPS side. Um, these are my stats. Uh, I have about 2,840 might and 1,345 precision. Um, yeah, um, so let me show you what to pump first. For powers, geokinesis, you, what you want to do is you want to pump all skills up to debris field and you want to get reinforced as well. For seismic, um, what you need to do is get uh, the left tree all the way to tectonic brick and the right tree to sandblast. As for iconic powers, what you want to get is weapons expert and tactical genius, the two critical um, damage and uh, chance rates. Alright, onto the loadouts themselves. Um, well, this DPS loadout consists of two parts really. Um, the first is the three core skills, skills one to three. Um, this will be what you're spamming in the most of the time. Um, I'll talk about this part later, but well, going through the skills one by one, what this basically does is the first skill is a single target dazing, second skill is sandblast. It's something um, sort of like HL's fan. If anyone um, using this guy is sort of familiar with HL, um, what this build actually does is sort of the jump fan thing um, to fire two shots really quickly. Um, Pebble Blast, this skill, uh, it does extra damage to dazed targets. Um, what, what's, well the kind of interesting part about the skill is that immediately after you cast it, you can shoot pretty quickly right after that, so um, this would be your core spam skill. Um, the second part from skills 46, what um, consists of mostly AOE and well the crit critical precision buff. Um, we have tectonic break for skill 4 uh, to do a close to mid range AOE days. Uh, this sets up your PI for debris field, which does extra damage to crust of days enemies, as well as um, pebble blast. Your sixth skill is uh, reinforce, uh, increases your precision, uh, precision and critical attack chance. Um, the skill uh, also sort of clips both tectonic break, which has a really high cast time, as well as debris field, which is not quite as long. All right. Um, moving on to oh yes, um, skills. Well, I'm gonna brush through this uh, really quickly. Um, I'll probably show a map later on at the end of the video. Uh, for weapons, what you want to get is the basic, basic first tier DPS things. For those who are tight on skill points, this means that what you want to do first is you want to max, let's say, all, all your critical attack chances. Um, uh, this, this means both critical attack chance and critical attack damage. After which, you want to pump your remainder skills into might or uh, second tier precision. Um, what I did for my loadout um, currently is that I maxed all the criticals, um, first first tier criticals and might, and I've got all first all second tier precision. That's about ninety precision from second tier, and I've just have enough skill points to pump, um, let's say six skill points into second tier might, so that gives me thirty might from second tier. Uh, super speed, um, or well, uh, your movement speed. Basically, what you kind of just need is your, uh, well, your speed force or rocket, rocket assisted glide or supersonic for flight. So, all right. Um, here's, here comes the part where I tell you about how to set up your. Um, four to six DOTs. Um, so 
Tectonic break. It's a skill that does mass stays. If you realize, um, the sparring targets kind of have this little fuzzy, um, air around the hits. This means that the day's PI has been set up. What you want to do after dazing them is throw a debris field. And you can see two ticks, two might ticks from each target. This would be your main um, AOE DOT or even single target DOT for um, bosses, I guess. Um, one thing you want, you might want to do is that, let's say you're in Nexus or something and you see a swarm of mobs uh, or ads nearby. Um, what you can do, actually, is... Uh, sorry about that, I got um, swarmed by a bug. So yeah, um, back to where we were. Um, when when you've got like more than one ad coming at you, what you want to do is you want to say um, cast tectonic break and clip it really quickly with your reinforce skill. So let's say these are the two ads. What you want to do is you want to do a shoot and immediately after you shoot you clip that with uh, tectonic break and right after tectonic break you, you pop the reinforce so it should look something like this um, so you can see um, there was a white tick and a red tick and my my reinforce got on um, yeah earth has really cool boxing gloves when uh, the crit buff is on which is pretty nice really <laughs> So, yeah. Once you get, once you get your dazed on your AOE um, ads and stuff, uh, you might want to shoot and pop a uh, debris field to so get a nice some nice DOT sticking. All right. So this is how you set up for the mic part or four to six the um, AOE DOTs on your ads. Alright, so um, for single target or even several target, something, anything with a main target really, let's say Nexus, if you want to burn down a specific boss, um, this part's the tricky part and uses up a shitload of power actually. So, as you can see, um, this build kind of only works with rifle, because uh, you need to shoot a lot and Earth is really spammable for those who are familiar with HL. Um, well, the difference with the difference with um, HL and this is that well in HL most people do snap trap and snap trap fan jump fan. Um, this Earth DPS uh, loadout. Oh look, this guy's doing it sort of. He's doing a snap trap fan shoot thing. Oh, he's using one handed though. Yeah. Um, what you want to do for Earth, actually, is use your Sandblast, which is this um, channeling spell, to do a double jump cancel thing. Um, so let's say, let's say this is single target in front of you. What you want to do is use your first skill, Stone, to get some days, uh, get to get your days PI on it. So you want to clip it with a you shoot and immediately right after that you press the skill so that it seems almost flawless you get both um, oh it's seamless I mean uh, the transition has no downtime whatsoever um, immediately after that you get your days done um, this is where the main cycle comes what you gotta do is you gotta shoot and clip that sandblast and immediately after that jump and shoot So real quick it should look something like this you could see from there there was a single mic tick with two precision ticks yeah um, this is your main well major skill um, the second part of it actually is that once you set up your days um, PI with your single target or tectonic break, whatever. Um, you want to clip that with a pebble blast. 
so yeah, um, just the Pebble Blast alone, it should look something like this. Um, there were two mic ticks from that. Um, yeah, so this is your third skill, Pebble Blast. It has a PI and it has actually one of the quickest clips ever. Once you once you clip with Pebble Blast, it's, um, if I'm not mistaken, it's, you can actually shoot slightly faster than um, if you're just shooting normally. Well, if you look at this, yeah, um, right after that, all you need to do is click or spam click and you fire almost immediately. So, um, when all this goes into motion, what you want to do is get your PI on with the stone clip. <laughs> You want to do a sort of double jump sandblast thing. Whoops. And right after that, um, throw a pebble blast. And yeah. Oh, there goes my power. Yeah, as you can see, this um, build is really power heavy. I would only recommend this if you have to. Um, at least two controllers that you know um, with 2000 vitalization and above um, is, yeah it's really difficult to sustain it's comparable to HL in terms of power consumption um, and well it scales really quickly um, as you can see the two skills have almost zero cooldown um, if you have three controllers what I would do actually is that I would cycle it with um, stone first and then cycle it with pebble blast so that you can keep shooting um, constantly <laughs> alright so um, for this build what you kind of need is actually is the shotgun um, or rifle I mean um, for trinkets I recommend having an orbital strike um, or for well start with the belt you need at least uh, I would go for a tree trinket or a tree wildcard belt. Uh, my favorite at the moment is the level 86 one. Uh, this is slightly better than the 87 one, I feel, because the 87 one has three consumables, which is kind of really silly for DPS. So, for your first um, trinket or your first slot, I, would, I normally go for an orbital strike. Um, this, this is uh, sort of a tactical instant nuke that you could use for burning down ads really quickly when they're on the tank and you have no time um, this is also very useful when max for say the twin sentinels in nexus you want to get the bot down really quickly one orbital strike crits and knocks out i think half the health of the bot so yeah orbital strike for your first trinket that's really useful for the consumable slot, um, well, I used to sometimes put the personal dampening fuel, uh, but actually it only absorbs about 1.5k damage. I find using flex orders much more useful. Um, this is essential because, well, uh, sometimes in uh, Paradox Wave you might need to burn a boss between phases if you're doing, let's say, 1 to 4 bosses. Um, for your third slot, uh, what you want actually is the precision trinket from Trigon's uh, prison. Well, I sort of bought the one with marks because I, I kept accidentally destroying or selling my um, Trigon prison trinket. So, yeah, this is much more useful for me. As for the fourth trinket, I like to use a fighter, uh, well, the CC trinket because it gives nice mixed damage like 343 might and 390 precision for 20 seconds um... Let's see if um... if i'm using uh... if i'm in paradox wave midway and it's a low cooldown time and i see that my controller is struggling with powering the team what we do actually is um... swap it with the supply drop Midway, as you can see, the fourth slot kind of takes, um, kind of takes the right-click trinket. So yeah, um, this is very useful for raids, um, especially in T5. Um, you never know, a supply drop can go a really, really long way and saving team. 
Um, so yeah, that has been Resdante's Earth DPS guide. Right now I'm going to show you a clip from the fine room of Nexus with uh, me on Earth DPS. Right now, um, right now all I can say about Earth DPS is that it has potential, but it uses an incredible amount of power. Much like many other powers, I don't believe that one power has dominance over another in terms of potential. It's just about using the strengths of one power instead. Um, and yeah, getting used to the power that you like to use. So, thank you, and if you enjoyed this guide, stay tuned and subscribe for more. Foolish enough to repeatedly interfere with my plans. You must be prepared to stop him the moment he targets another artifact. 